Hey y'all, I'm in my guest bedroom. Look, don't be like me. Um, before you purchase products, look at at least minimum three reviews. <sighs> Which one of you helped us told me to buy this urban hydration? Because, hold on, let me pick it up. I've seen now a mix of reviews on this stuff. And two of the reviews, excuse me, three of them were not that great. Now, let me read this. Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> it does say that. One of the reviewers were talking about how the directions for the, this is beautiful packaging, by the way, the uh, moisturizing mask and deep conditioner is not correct. And sure as hell, I'm reading it. I don't, let me just say this. I have a life. I have too much stuff going on. I'm literally three reviews behind. I typically don't read the directions and instructions and all that until a few days before I actually review a product. Looking at this madness now for the mask, the directions say apply desired amount to damp or dry hair from ends to root. Comb through hair after application for even distribution, do not rinse. For deep conditioner, it says do not rinse. Um, update on my job. After we had, we had our quarterly meeting this morning and I feel very good now. Um, the director, one of the directors did let us know that a couple of people were let go for budget reasons. Oh, we were way on a budget. Hello. They decided, well, last last year, 2017, they were like, well, since you did so good, we're not going to give you as much money. <laughs> See? So, in order to stay within our budget, uh, they let go of a couple of people. Now, this is, this is the good, I feel bad for those people, but they really weren't let go. What happened is, he said that, um... They had something called deployment. Oh. Hold on, baby. So what has happened with these people were, that were quote unquote let go, they're still working in the in the company. They were deployed to the up to the company that actually owns us. I mentioned that before, but I was very interested to hear it from the director. Um, he said it was like a seven week seven week process, two weeks within our organization. I should say I don't know within our department, and then five weeks uh, with the up, other company lining up your skill set to see what's available because the other company has tons of positions open. I mean, there's close to 100 just here in Phoenix. Yeah, at the Phoenix office here, there's close to 100 openings. Um, and they're right, down, right around the street from me, so don't do that. So guess what? It's you officially start school. You, you officially start school this week, JB. Are you, <laughs> aren't you excited? You officially start kindergarten, y'all. I've been tomorrow is no on Wednesday. Dennis. Uh oh, tomorrow's the dentist. Yes, but are they not gonna do my teeth? They're just gonna look at it. Okay. Now, those of you, sorry, he's kind of showing his undies. I don't want that in. But well, you, you're hurting my back now. Um, dental treatment on his teeth. It is sodium. I shouldn't know this by now. Sodium diamond. Basically, it is a paste that delays the decaying of his teeth um he has a few cavities and to avoid filling them at this age because the, these are baby teeth they're gonna fall out to avoid filling them they put this paste over his teeth the downside two things happen the good thing is that some of the teeth that he said were sore they're no longer sore right baby your teeth don't hurt anymore right mm -hmm. the bad thing about it is that it turned his teeth in certain areas gray um, so it, now it's like it looks like he has rotten teeth. So why did she do that? That was a paste that was to avoid filling your teeth. Is either that or they were gonna put a drill in your mouth? You don't want a drill in your mouth, do you? And they just can look at my teeth. Yeah, tomorrow they're just gonna look at it and they're gonna clean your teeth. Okay. Okay. All right. So yeah, y'all yeah, already got our stuff oh. out ready. <laughs> So this is gonna be my husband's, his luck, his carry-on. We're doing carry-on. We we ain't checking anything in. And we're gonna be there. I said what? Wednesday, yeah, Thursday, Friday, six, five days. Two days travel, three days, you know. So this is gonna be his. Um I purchased these That's two mine. jewelry bag holders that can do also for toiletries. I have this right here. This is makeup. Uh-uh, baby. 
Don't do that. Pick that up, sweetheart. Pick that up. Um, this is going to be JB's carry-on. JB, don't do that. I will pause to pop. This no. is going to be, yes, this is going to be mine. Isn't no. this cute, y'all? I got this from Wayfair, and it's also rolling. Let me see. I know it is. Where's the thing on? Oh, okay. Here's the wheels here. And yeah, and it has a stick it lets up. I'm pretty sure I can fit everything. And plus, you know, if nothing, if not everything fits in mine, I will definitely be putting my stuff in between these two bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my husband just went to work for the first time in days. You know, there's something about this camera. What a car, we, what a car zombie. They don't wanna watch zombies, child. We're watching Disney movies. I need to do the facial recognition wow. on my camera because I noticed with some of the older footage, it was zooming, it was focusing on something. You need to focus on this, Canon. Anyway, y'all, I was just telling my husband he's on his way to work. He's Boy, doing much better. I did tell him, y'all know, men, some men, I don't want to generalize all men, but they, I have a very hardworking husband. He's a very hardworking individual. And so he will work through pain. He has an old school mentality when it comes to work at, you know, work ethic. So he will work through pain. He worked through the pain and came back home and was sick that, that night. And so, <laughs> hush, baby. I told him, I said, if you feel any type of pain, any type of flare up, take off and come home. Don't do that. But I also told him, take this off your clothes. No, don't take off your clothes. I also told him, this is going to be the last few days where we have JB at home <gasps> all day. Like, literally, now my husband will only see him on his days off. JB, you will only, because he won't be here when I pick him up because of his work schedule. So, we really do need to make sure that we have family really time with you. Showing you what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. Very, very simple because grocery shop is not to tomorrow, so I'm eating what I have. I typically like to keep on hand in my cupboard beans, rice, I have Keanu, is that how you pronounce it? I have wild rice. Um, I at least always have one to two fresh veggies. So I have some carrots that are boiling away. That's three sticks of car carrots. And then I'm just going to um, put a little bit of cinnamon, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil. I have my rice here steaming away. I don't want to open that up. But again, I'm using what I have. So that color you see there is half of a red bell pepper, half of a green bell pepper, and some seasonings for my rice. And just some black beans. I have a can, <clears throat> excuse me, I had a can of low sodium. When I buy beans, I typically want to make sure that it's low sodium or no salt so that I can add my own salt. Rinsed off, I added some bell peppers, some onions, some garlic. So I'm going to spoon over, spoon over some beans on top of some rice. This will be enough for two days and for my husband to have some. So here is my dinner, the rice with some beans and just a little bit of um, carrots and I have me some water with a squirt of lemon. Y'all, I'm in my bathroom and all of a sudden I hear a large gust of wind. Y'all have to excuse our backyard, it just blew everything. Trash cans. Oh I think it's about the it's about the storm again. And it blew off that it blew this, this cover. It blew the ladder over. I'm not even bothered gonna oh, go out really? here and do all this stuff. Oh my gosh. Is it about the rain? Let's get this back inside. Get that back inside, baby. You afraid? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, I need to turn the car. Oh! Push the car, girl. Let me turn on the light. Early in the morning, and it stormed like crazy. I mean, at one point, I know it was thunder and thundering in the distance. It was thunder and lightning where it shaked ground, and I was like, girl, are we about to be raptured up? I'm ready. Girls. <laughs> Stay rapture ready. I was like, oh Lord, I got it. I was like, oh Lord, are you are we ready? I'm ready. <laughs> um, why am I still getting bills for my surgery, y'all, for my breast reduction? I don't know. I said I would do a three month update. I don't know regarding my breast. I don't know if I will or not, to be quite honest. Today is the day before school, y'all. I'm trying to look. I am a crafty helper. If you don't know by now, I am extremely crafty. And one thing I like, I, I want to do for JB is to create memories. I'm not necessarily concerned about buying him stuff, but I want to create memories, which is why I do things like make him a fairy book, uh, excuse me, a quiet book, make him that fairy door, which 
he already forgot about that child, but at least he remembered that I made him that, you know. Um, so I want to do something that's memorable for his first day of school. Lord, I'm going to try to real hard not to cry about this, y'all, because JB is my rainbow baby. I've told you guys this several times, but those of you who don't know, a rainbow baby is a baby that you are blessed with after a loss. Um, I have fertility issues. JP was not supposed to be here, but by the grace of God, he is here. His name even means strength or to me strong and my husband's language. I was in so much pain when I found out I was pregnant that the doctors were like, we don't know because you just suffered a loss four months ago and we don't know if it's gonna, if this baby's gonna make it. So anyway. I'm so proud of JB. I always let him know how proud um, we are of him. So I want to do something. Oh, y'all, I'm getting really emotional. I want to do something just to show him how proud we are of him. You know, we can buy him stuff. That, you know, toys, he'll remember like that. But I want to create some type of memory for him for today. Maybe it'll be something after school or before school. More than likely, it'll be something after school. So um, anyway. Let me let me uh gossip with y'all a little bit because I don't talk to anybody else, right? So have y'all been seeing all of the foolery? Not all of it. There was some foolery, and it's always in my recommended, my recommended videos, and my ass was a sucker for it. Actually, I'll ignore it for a while, and then I'll be like, okay, what is this about? So I'll go ahead and click on that. So one of them I'm actually subscribed to. What the hell? Hold on, y'all. This fan is on too hard. One of them I'm subscribed to, and he's a brother, beautiful hair. I think he's like 3B, 3C hair. He has fairly long hair, body is off the chain. He was giving some advice on how to get get your body stature. I'm like, baby, first of all, one, you're young, two, you're a man. Nothing about it, but testosterone actually, doesn't that help you to build muscle and hint, lose weight faster than women? So that's nice, but yeah, girl. Um, What's the point, girl? Get to the point. So these two YouTubers, one I just watched a few days ago, and apparently they have tried to, and I know they're not the only ones, they have tried to collaborate with other bigger YouTubers just for them to pay them dust. The other bigger YouTuber just basically ignores them. Y'all, collaborations on YouTube are not what they used to be. Um, it just isn't. The majority, I'm going to go out there and say it. I, I'm just going to say it. The majority of YouTube, <laughs> a lot of YouTubers, but that includes myself, are introverts. It's easy for me to come on this cam and talk to you. I ain't got to ask, answer any questions, but I'm not one of those extreme introverts. I think there's a lot of YouTubers who have social anxiety. Some of them have even let, let you know. I remember a couple of years ago, y'all remember, because I know a couple of y'all have been on YouTube as long as I have. Granted, I I haven't been making YouTube videos for a long, but I have been following other YouTubers for about seven years now. Remember a while back when the Dollar Tree, was it the Dollar Tree or Dollar General, invited a couple of well-known YouTubers out, bloggers, hair, wigs. There was one YouTuber specifically, I'm not gonna name drop. She was so, I could tell she had social anxiety. She was complete opposite in front of other people. Like she had this smile on her, but I could tell she was nervous. She's a sweet girl. She's a very popular YouTuber now. She does decorating. If I say too much, you know who I'm talking about. I don't care at this point. She does decorating videos. Um, she recently bought a house. It's not recently, it's been a while. Makeup's very, very beautiful young lady, but I could tell that she was awkward being around all these new faces. So yeah, I think a lot of YouTubers have issues. Not to say there's nothing wrong with that, but when it comes to interacting with other people, even a collaboration um, over the interweb, they don't know how to act. They don't know how to behave. So, not only that, but I've seen two videos in regards to giveaways. People are scamming of giveaways, and I don't name drop this. Leia Godorn and Donna's Journey. Both of them have had people to contact them falsely claiming that they were the winners. What I'm surprised with, with Donna's Journey, she is a mukbanger, she does mukbangs, and she's very positive. And I've talked to, I've spoken about her before. I really like her because she, she gives story time and she gives advice while she's eating her food. Um, but anyway, she had a $25 Amazon giveaway. Why did someone try to scam her for $25? People that press for free stuff. Leia had, <laughs> Leia had, she just posted this this week. She had five people contact her. They make, 
these people took the time to create fake accounts fake social media accounts for this giveaway i have no idea what was all involved in leia's giveaway i don't even enter other youtubers giveaway as a youtube youtuber i feel kind of weird you know entering other people giveaways but i don't and i'm like you i got all that press for you let me tell you something i have an international giveaway coming up soon i if I get one ounce of some foolery on my channel, I'm shutting it down. I'm shutting it down. But thank God I'm not that big enough where I've, you know, ran into that. And most other winners I've known just from looking at their, um, you know, their profiles and stuff. I know who it is. But I think definitely for this international giveaway, I'm going to privately contact the person before I announce it. That way they already know you contact me first. I need to know what your email address so in case anyone else email me <laughs> y'all i love sometimes the petty part of me do love a little bit of the drama as long as it's not too much like when it's going back and forth back and forth back and forth a few times I, that's that's i can't handle that one or two ounces of drama i can't yeah, can. holy moly we're at ross and there is nothing i don't see nothing, nothing that i like shelf. yeah i mean they look look over here Ain't nothing over here. What the hell? Yeah, now, I can get away Ross, sometimes with wearing an eight. Yeah, because Ross is closing down. So okay, don't, don't say that, David. It's, it's not letting you click on anything? I got that. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. This one goes right here. Oh. Let me go right here. Mmm. <laughs> Ticklish? Excited, baby. So this is the type of uniform. Uh, and I cut his hair, you guys. A little uneven on the side, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Oh, yes, we are. So JB is enjoying a donut before we go into school, and then after this, we're gonna pray, boo boo. Okay. I'm good. Good morning. It's your first first day. I think you guys go out to yeah. play. All the way down, baby. Your playground is down down there. Okay. This is my playground. Yeah. Not this. Not this. We're getting close. <laughs> Ryan Little. <laughs>